So lately, you know, I want to become successful. I want to know what do I have to do in order to become that top tier person, become that, craft myself into a super soldier, into a top G. What do I have to do daily to get that? And all the advice I'm looking at, like, how do I become successful? I ask this question on Sam's community. I ask friends. I ask literally, like, teachers. What do you think I should be doing daily that's going to have the highest growth rate for me, the best investment of my time? What is that going to be? A lot of the information I get, it pings back to a few things. First of it being going out and getting experiences, going on adventures. That's what all the advice seems to go back to. Just go out, live life. If When we think of life, we think of going out, exploring the world, traveling the world, getting as much experience, seeing as many things, doing as much, experiencing as much as possible. And that's what living life is. That's what I feel like the purpose of life is. Just see how hard you are to kill, how far you can go in the world, how much you can conquer. And that's really what all the advice seems to go back to. Going out, doing hard shit, do, doing hard things, and getting experiences in your life. Going out on long ass hikes, going out on like 20 mile bike rides, challenging yourself, go run a marathon, go see how many friends you can make, build connections, talk to people you don't normally do, do things you don't normally do, try new things. That's what all the advice seems to ping back to. When I think of Andrew Tate, what he got all his stories and experience from in life, it would came from his boxing. Andrew Tate used to do kickboxing, if you don't know. But And before that, he was on course to become like a professional chess player. He played chess. His dad was a grandmaster, a chess grandmaster. And Andrew Tate, he would do kickboxing. That was the thing he put all his time into. That was his craft, his purpose in life. Really, he tried to become... He was a professional kickboxer, world champion, four-time world champion, I think. Anyways, really good kickboxer. He spent all his time. That was his purpose. And that taught him... As he goes, talks about it, kickboxing taught Andrew Tate everything he needed to know about life. It taught him about discipline, taught him about women, taught him about making friends, taught him about working hard, staying true to your word. All the mindsets, Andrew Tate's entire mindset is professional chess and kickboxing. That's what gave him the millionaire mindset you see today. This guy working super long hours, working like 18 hours a day, non-stop, does not take a break. That's where he got it from. So you need to find your kickboxing. Maybe you are once something, just find your purpose. Find, for me, that could be wrestling. I do wrestling. I try to take it seriously. My season's league coming to an end today. No. Okay. I have CIF coming up. If I win, I go to Masters. But anyways, it's getting close to the end of my season. Today, tomorrow, I have CIF. Wrestling has been a big thing for me in growing my character, just like kickboxing for Andrew Tate. Wrestling has taught me many things about life. Wrestling has been a very big thing in crafting who I am. I think it was originally wrestling that got crafted me into this disciplined person. Because before that, in summer break, I was really a weak person. I'd feel like not disciplined, played Fortnite. Super lazy motherfucker, doing whatever I wanted, just being like everybody else. But I think wrestling took me out of my comfort zone and showed me what it's like to be around strong people, what it's like to do hard shit. It taught me in my entire mindset. It taught me not to quit. Because the thing about wrestling, you never quit. You stay, you stay in it. You need to find your version of kickboxing, your version of wrestling. Find your purpose. Preferably something physical. You know, there's these intellectual things that challenge you with risk, like studying or whatnot, being like playing chess, challenges you mentally. You want to be find something physical, because the thing about something physical is that it also helps you with your mental game. Doing something like maybe jujitsu, doing something like a d martial arts, you do something, you get really into powerlifting. Discipline of choice, your purpose of choice is like bodybuilding. Just something 
that you're going to really get into and devote yourself towards. It's really going to help build you.